Hi and welcome. My name is John and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can configure port security using Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, to all those who are excited each and every time you hear something to do with security, I am also somebody who gets so intrigued and loves to see things that regard security. Alright, so in this uh, particular configuration, we're going to look at how we can use the MAC address sticky uh, command to secure our devices which could be connected to this switch. So in this particular lab, we have these devices which are actually authorized on this network to be connected to be connected, sorry, on port number one and port number two of this switch. And we have one additional device which is over here and does not have the authorization to actually access this particular switch. All right. So to get about this configuration, you access your command line. And once you access your command line, type enable, enable uh, conf t, and then begin securing the ports which require the security to be assigned to or to be configured on so in this case i'm going to type interface range fast ethernet zero slash one to two okay switch port uh mode access switch port mode access switch port port security mac address sticky okay switch port port security switch port port security mac address mac address sticky okay all right and then i would type the do wr to to save that configuration now notice that the moment we type our switch port port security mac address sticky and go in our privilege mode and type a show port security and press enter you'd realize that on this uh, particular table we are not able to see anything that has to do with a security violation okay and nothing has been done so far in terms of violation of those particular ports but you can see that there is port security assigned on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 all right so let's try and do uh, some sort of a violation in this case all right, let's just try to see if we have uh, communication between these two devices, okay? So there is communication between these two devices. And if we remove one of these devices quickly, okay, that's on port number two, and assign uh, a connection on port number two to this device, okay? And then try to establish a link or a communication or rather ping, just wait for it to go up quickly. All right and try to ping that okay it says failed but still it hasn't yet gone up so i still have to see it turning to green and then later on try to ping that so that when we ping it we can actually prove if there is going to be uh some sort of communication between those two devices or there isn't going to be any uh communication All right so there we go so if we type if we if, if we try to ping these two okay it shares progress and then it says failed so i'm going to try again just to make sure that there isn't any communication because all right and there we go it actually shuts down that port back in this uh device if we go back and type show port security and press enter notice that under security violation on fast ethernet 0 slash 2 we now have a one count of violation so this is how you'd go about configuring port security mac address sticky in a cisco switch i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to thank you